Hey, it's Lady Coleman or something. Know me as Kuru. This is gonna be part two of the P this uh, PC and how to speed it up. And uh, this is not really part two, but this is part two of my continuous video that I made. Um, the part one on sh I was showing you on some extra stuff on uh, the PC and how to speed it up and some tips and this are some other tips you can do to uh, speed it up and hang on a second on my uh, start up and shut down video I had to do that and make that faster and today I'm just going to show you some basic tips to increase speed first of all desktop now what you can do is download a doc kind of not really kind of compact file around 10 megabytes at the most or even 8 18, you can get rock doc or object doc, star doc, whatever you like. I preferably like object doc because I like themes in, I just keep it small and compact. I just use, I don't get any more themes, I just use one. And uh, I keep my icons to a minimum. I actually have a lot, just these are here from here to here. I don't really need it, just that I don't know how to get these off without, if I use Camp Studio. These always have to be here on my desktop for some reason, and I'm just, I'll get that fixed later on. But anyway, I use my MS Paint. I don't really need that, or Pinball. I'm a big Pinball player. <laughs> but anyway, I use my main things like my Mozilla Firefox, my favorite browser now, IE, and so what I sometimes use for ma more major things, my local CDs, my command prompt, my add or remove programs, my mouse configuration for changing my cursor, which I'll do now, because my cursor is not the right one. Real quick, hang on. Let me change my cursor. Desktop, my folder, and folders. If you've seen my desktop videos, is a real good way to uh uh actually it's a really good way to keep organized. So just use folders when you can, so you can keep like eight icons in one, and it's really useful. You know what? I'm gonna do these with that for now because I don't really. Need those. Okay, keeps everything compact. Anyway, delete the icons you don't need from the dock so it's easier to access. And, okay, and you can also, uh, you see my theme here, go to right click, go to properties. Within this, you can do a lot. Okay, uh, theme, mine's a Zune. Uh, Windows XP actually is a resource, not really a resource hog, but it uses resources and. Windows XP, as I'll show you here. The right, the default browser, and uh, a lot of people, if you see them, use Windows Classic on their videos. Some uh, Windows Classic is actually the one used in Windows 2000 and Windows 95. It just used a plain outline, not many resources to get like these nice effects and stuff, like my Zune theme. But uh, uh, you know, Windows Classic, I run that sometimes, but not really speed it up, but it'll make it considerably much a little faster because you're running a small a uh, small less resource hogs so you're letting out more things to get through but I'm not going to change that because I really like my thing I really like my uh I don't really care if it uses up space but I have some I do some other things and you're actually your uh screen savers what they were used back then for was uh not I guess it was called image burning when the monitors back then would get, uh, when they would have, like, uh, what should we call it? Like, if they would have an image, I learned this recently, actually, when the screensaver was up, it was used for, because if a computer was left on one image for a uh, period of time, when you would turn off the monitor, you would see, like, uh, the image still there on your computer, and it was called uh, image burning. And so they use a screensaver to get rid of that, and, you know, now... Our advanced monitors don't really use it, but I still use a screensaver. I love my, uh, oh, mine's not up here, but my electric sheep. I love that, uh, screensaver. I'm just gonna apply that. Small file, and, uh, you know, I like mine, so you can do that as well. In your settings, you can change your screen resolutions and your color quality. It says also, now this is all within your properties. These five tabs can also affect your PC speed and your computer speed in general and uh, another thing to check out is your run using uh, MS config, regedit, all that stuff as I've gone over that before and uh, a really really cool thing you can do now this 
really really cool uh, let's say you go to a thing that's like my Mozilla already has it but I'll, I'll do it anyway Mozilla okay you see this code I have at the end I don't know if you've seen this before but okay I'll take it off apply okay you can go to an icon or not even an icon you can go to any exe file or an execution file or anything actually Photoshop anything this works great right click it now this is a great tip so pay attention closely uh... you can use this on many of your programs on the computer unless they're a licensed program like itunes right click it go to properties you can work for any icon toolbar or anything around there go to your shortcut it'll automatically when you see target uh, target type target location target if this is accessible it should be uh... Should work unless it's locked because it's like a brand name or something like iTunes. Now just go to the very end, hit space once, and hit forward slash. Forward slash. Uh, pre. P R E. Fetch. F T E. F E T C H. Colon. One. So just get a good look at that. Hit set. That's. Forward slash, which is right next to your, uh, which is your, uh, where the question mark is on your keyboard. Pre fetch colon the double dots one hit apply, and what this does it like it says pre fetch is the 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 uh up uh the open application time and it opens quicker from my Mozilla Firefox. So I to click double click it and it'll take a while maybe the first time because. You just inserted the code, and if it doesn't work well, just take the code off. It's easy, you know, and it opens it up. And, okay. Um, let me show you more, a better example on this. Let me actually show you it now. Prefetch. Let me take it off real quick. Apply. Okay. Now, count it. One, two, three, four. And it may take a while because I have screen recording on. Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, right? The okay. Anyway, exit that. Yes, eight. Now let's try and cut that in half using this prefetch, which retrieves the program earlier, so it's easier to access. Apply. Double click. One there. It cut not even in half, even more than a half. And it's really easy to use. It's prefetch, and this will make program opening programs faster. And in the formula. With my computer, you know, you have to make it. S the key is to make it step by step. Every, you know, every uh, every process work with each process so that you get a faster PC and more efficient. So, hope to see. Uh, you'll see more tips, and I hope you get uh, prefetch works for you. And if it doesn't work, just take the code off. Just test it out with all your programs that you can, and it should work. And mess around with your properties and your reg edit and all that stuff. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment and rate. And if you liked it, please subscribe.